Hey, what's going on, everyone? So, this is going to be a quick TLDR of my first impressions of the outpost mode from the experimental branch on Icarus. So, take this with a pinch of salt, though, because tomorrow is the patch and anything could change. So, first of all, I just want to say I'm a big fan of this open world mode. I've been asking this for this a long time and I'm glad that we've got an early form of it. So, First of all, it, there is two versions of this open world. You have the Styx and you have the Olympus. Now straight away, if you had a build on the Olympus outpost prior to this update, it will get migrated over, all of your build and everything will get migrated over to um, the Olympus open world map now. It'll get, get migrated over, it'll be seamless. Um, it worked fine with mine, so you don't lose that build. If you do have, if you did have one on the Olympus outpost, so um, yeah, you have world bosses now. Now on the Olympus outpost, um, open. I need to count the habit of saying outpost. Open uh, world had three world bosses on it, and all of them were sandworms. Now that could change come tomorrow's patch, but yeah. Um, so it's three sandworms, one of them got bugged in the Arctic, and I, and I killed another one. But uh, if you want to see my full experience of this, by the way, you can go ahead and uh, watch my stream. I'll, I'll put it down in the pinned comments for you, so you can go and check it out if you want. Um, I killed one of the world bosses, um, I started a new build. Another thing is drop pod locations. I think there were six uh, locations in total in uh, on the Olympus map. Uh, where I could drop down, predetermined locations where I could drop down, which I thought was great. Um, you had one in the, you, you had one in all the biomes other than the uh, southern Arctic. There wasn't one at all there, maybe because the forest biomes right next to it, and there was one there. So that's that. Um, ores do respawn, but only if you go return to character select and come back in the ores would have respawned. So basically, exactly like how an outpost would have worked in the past. It's exactly the same way here, as uh, far as today's experimental branch went anyways. Sorry, I've got a really bad throat. Um, there's no exotics on open world mode, which I think is great, and I hope that it stays that way. I don't think exotics have any place on open world mode at all. There's a reason why there's three distinctive game modes, which was covered in last week's Q and A dev patch notes. Um, so you've got the you've got outpost mode now, which is for creativity, chilled experience, and just building. Open world, which is you're going to be playing with your friends, hunting world bosses, and building, and all of that kind of good stuff. So that's your generic uh, open world survival experience, and that's only going to get built on in in future and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So yeah. And then you have the missions, which is where you're going to get your Ren, your exotics, and your lore build-up, and back backstory and everything on there. So there's new, now three distinctive game modes for the cater to everybody. Um, so if you want exotics and stuff, you'll go off and do your missions. You need to know which missions to farm. Let's be honest, it's not hard to get exotics. Um, the open the open world mode, um, people saying, oh, well, I'm, there's no rewards for it or anything like that. You don't get rewarded in, let's say, Conan Exiles for playing on a certain mode. You know what I mean? You, you know, you get this, you kill something, you get the stuff, you craft stuff. It's exactly the same. It's like if you kill a world boss on Icarus in open world mode, you get, uh, so let's say the Sandworm, for example, you get the skills so you can craft a, like a unique armor with certain perks on it. You know, that is your reward. Um, people just feel like they need a reward all the time. And it's, it's really actually frustrating sometimes because, like, you know what I mean? You just want to be rewarded for everything. Logging into the game, doing some rewards for that. I'm surprised that isn't being called up, uh, called for. It's it's just crazy. So yeah. Um. Anyways, I'm just kind of going off on a tangent there, but um, open world mode for me is good. I look forward to seeing the uh stuff I get added in the future. But I'd like to see more world bosses or more variety. Again, that could come into the in tomorrow's patch or in the next up and coming weeks patches or something like that. Uh, because right now, just having one type of world boss is obviously uh, that's not that great. But it's a start. Uh, you can still create content around that and have fun and whatever. 
Um, but yeah, I'd like to see every world boss in there, like the Jaguar, the Alpha Wolf, uh, the Mammoths, and all of that good stuff. I'd like to see all of them in there eventually, so, you know, so I can be with my friends and we can go and hunt a, a different one on stream or off stream or whatever like that. And just in general, I think it'll be pretty cool once that's available. Um, yeah, uh, overall, I'm I'm happy with what I saw today. I uh, didn't really have any major issues other than uh, dropping into sticks and getting stuck in the drop pod in, like, orbit, pretty much. Um, but again, I'm on, as on the experimental branch, there was going to be bugs and stuff like that. But, yeah, my, that's just my initial thoughts and reactions. Um, let me know down in the comments section what you think, if you disagree with me or not. But, um, yeah, I... I I, I just hope there's no exotics that get added to open world mode. It just didn't make any sense whatsoever to me. Um, and, I, and I do look forward to seeing content being added to this in the future and the progression of it. Like I said, we're coming up for a year now on uh, Icarus. And, you know, it only can get better. Um, like, more and more content is being added now. Like, with the iterations of, like, the armor alterations and the weapon alterations and all that good stuff. I, I honestly, I, I think this is like the best state Icarus has been in. And, and this has come from someone who's played all the betas, played from day one. Um, I really do think uh, Icarus is heading in the right d uh, direction now. And if you are thinking about getting back into Icarus, I'd head, highly recommend checking out the open world mode, especially if you want to chill out with friends and just casually hunt world bosses and stuff like that. Um, you know, it's not perfect, but... They never said it was going to be perfect on day one, the, uh, the open world mode. Uh, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. And uh, like I said, I look, I look forward to uh, um, like what they add in the future. And obviously with the iterations to the missions that's happening. And uh, outposts. I'm still going to play on outposts. And I'm still going to do missions. And, you know, I'm still... I mean, I'm going to play the open world. And I play all the modes. So, yeah. Anyways... Thanks for watching, guys. I just thought I'd let you give you my quick TLDR from today's uh, live stream. And, uh, yeah, keep your, keep your eyes peeled for tomorrow's patch notes video and live stream. So, yeah, we'll see what else is uh, added in them patch notes tomorrow. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Take it easy. Bye-bye.